of the two moderators, um, one was terrible, but that was to be expected. One was better than expected because at least there was the tough question for Waltz to have to answer. And as we've just discussed, he wasn't able to do it. Um, you've had plenty to say about moderators in the past. What did, what did you think of the way the whole thing was run? You're just trying to trigger me, aren't you? A little bit. Trigger me. A little bit. Press all my trigger spots. <laughs> trigger. <laughs> thorn. I just. This is the more I thought about it, the more I just got I just got angrier and angrier over what CBS did last night. I mean, it was better than ABC by a smidgen. You know, I mean, it's it, it's hard for me to say that they were better because they were disgustingly biased in their question selection, in their follow ups, in their fake fact checks in their snide tone, their sneering condescension to the Republican and to Republican voters. I mean, it, it, the, the Media Research Center did a study of the CBS Evening News and Morning News and showed that it's 83 or 84 percent negative stories for Trump. That it's ridiculous. 17 percent of the stories are either neutral or positive, and 83 percent of the coverage is negative on Trump. Not as bad as ABC which I think was 97% negative for Trump, but disgusting. And that was on full display last night. Margaret Brennan embarrassed herself. She completely changed many people's professional opinion of her. She's been very biased against Trump on her Sunday show. She's the one who, on the night of the first assassination attempt, where Trump was still bleeding from his head, criticized his paper statement that he put out, saying, I'm okay and God bless, whatever. Oh, he didn't call for his supporters not to retaliate. You know, irresponsible. What? He's still bleeding. The story is not Trump's supporters getting ready to retaliate. It's that some lunatic almost shot his head off. That's how she saw the moment. So what does that get you? Oh, well, it gets you a vice presidential moderation spot over on CBS News. She was incapable of under understanding any Republican ar ar uh, argument and didn't have a, se a simple facility with the facts when it comes to basic economic principles like supply and demand. Explain exactly how illegal immigrants are driving up the costs of housing. Hello? Hello, McFly? Are you an idiot? It's called supply and demand. You don't have to have an economics degree from Harvard to understand that. She just couldn't. It was you know, the absolute disdain. And th the whole presentation, Tim Walz too, when he was nailed down on his far left abortion policies and the murdering of babies policies that he did sign into law, even though he denied it, tried to rely when J.D. Vance had him, he had him under his thumb on, well, it's just true. What I'm saying is true because ABC News fact checked it at the last debate. In th that was the whole, are babies being born alive, alive after abortions and left to suffer to death? And they are, especially in Minnesota, where Tim Walls reversed the law. He revoked it. There was a law in place saying you would have to give such a baby life-saving care. He repealed that law and said you only have to give them comfort care, but you do not have to save their lives. And indeed, eight babies have died while he's been governor because he reversed that law that would have mandated the life-saving efforts. And when J.D. had him on the ropes about this, his response was, ABC News already fact-checked at this, this at the last debate <laughs> in one of the most controversial fact-checks of all time. No fact-check by the CBS moderators on that. No one jumping in at that, that point to say, Governor Walls, you did sign such a law. The ABC fact-check was wrong. There was zero help provided to the Republicans or to J.D. Vance. There were multiple instances where they swooped in to try to save the day for Tim Walls and just sick of it, Paul. I'm sick of it. Because I'll, let me just put one period at the end of this. You open up uh, today's news and you've got the Cook political report showing Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are neck and neck in every swing state. She's a, ahead of him in virtually all of them. They're tied in North Carolina. North Carolina was one swing state Trump did manage to win last time around. And she's above him uh, by a, about a point. It's all within the margin of error. But he should be crushing her right now. The, these debates aren't moving the needle. Nothing's moving the needle. But the debate moderators, without allowing fair play, are doing their best to keep it at least tight so she can look like a viable contender, so Tim Walls can look like he could potentially take over. And it's not only unfair, it's just deeply corrupt.
to the system that's going to elect the next pre next president. I agree completely, uh, not to mention all of the problems that are happening from storms to port shutdowns to the Middle East, all the rest of it there, which all obviously shows uh, failures of, of leadership at, at almost every level. But Can I've I also got a theory. That? Can I say something yeah. on the storm thing? Uh, yeah, please, forgive please. me for interrupting. So, they, so they, they raise the issue of Hurricane Helene, which has got, we have hundreds of Americans dead. We probably have some 600 more we're waiting to find. They could be dead as well. And we've got people do these dramatic rooftop rescues where children are dying, grandparents are dying. Kamala Harris was out in Los Angeles with her celebrity friends like Demi Lovato having beef Wellington while they were begging for help on their rooftops. That's the landing of your question, you dumbass debate moderators. They raise Hurricane Helene. I'm thinking, great, you should do that. When you get breaking news as a debate moderator, the day of the debate or a couple days before, it's a blessing, it's mana from heaven. I can do all my jobs at once, get the actual news into my debate moderation, move this story forward and hold the powerful to account. So they raise Hurricane Helene and the suffering. What's the landing that they use? Isn't this proof that there's climate change and what we need to do about it? The, the climate change is making these storms worse, which yeah. is not true. It's not true. We, if Go back and look at the hurricane force over time. We had the most devastating some 30 years ago. The ones that have come along this season actually haven't been more severe than we've seen in past years. They predicted absolute disaster this fall. It didn't come. We had one. We've had many that are equally, if not more, devastating than Helene. That's not the landing. The landing is the total lack of action and accountability by the woman who's asking us to make her the next president, who's the sitting vice president, who is too busy eating beef Wellington to give a damn. No one will ask a tough question like that. They've got to go back to their pet issues. They gave, what, seven minutes to abortion more to climate change, had to be another seven to January 6th. People don't care about climate change or January 6th. The polls show us that. They care, one or two, about immigration. And when the two candidates started a fight on immigration, what did they do? They cut the mics to move on. Just the bias is, it's up here, right? I feel like I'm drowning in it. And you, as a Republican, you watch it, and all you know when it's over is, I don't like the moderators. I'm annoyed. I love J.D. at the Trump-Kamala Harris debate. You were like, I'm frustrated with Trump. But the media bias is so ubiquitous. It's so steeped in. All we can do now is try to manage our ways through it. And I'm really thinking this morning, there, we have to find a new approach. I just think maybe we just don't participate. Maybe it, it's a hard and fast rule that if we have one, on an NBC or a CBS or an ABC, there has to be one on a Fox News or with an independent, somebody like me or Ben Shapiro, whatever. You can't just say, we're only going to go into these forums that the Democrats control.